The first question that everybody asks a magician is, how did you do that? But that's actually not the most interesting question. The most interesting question that I get asked is, how do you create the impossible? How magicians think is my love letter to magic and the best magicians in the world. There are 52 chapters. I couldn't resist having exactly 52 of them. And each one answers a core question that people have about the art of magic. Have you ever screwed up a trick? Who's the best magician in the world? Was Houdini as good as everybody says he was? What's the weirdest show you've ever done? Could you cheat at cards? Do magicians get fooled? Does magic look different in other countries? What makes Penn and Teller so dynamic? For centuries, magicians have concealed their secrets from the public, but in doing that, they've also concealed the fascinating stories behind these tricks, the psychology that magicians use to get us to fool ourselves, and the magician's creative process. I spent intimate time with Teller and David Blaine and David Copperfield to discover what drives them and the thoughts behind their creative process. I traveled to France and Ecuador and Japan and Peru to find out how magic looks different depending on where you are. The concept of this book is pretty special. I want to take you behind the curtain so that you can see the inner beauty of magic and appreciate the world's most secretive profession in a whole new way. I thought a lot about who this book is for. And yes, if you love magic as a kid or you're interested in magicians, this book is for you. But How Magicians Think is for anyone who is interested in taking their passion to the furthest possible potential. It's a book about what happens when you spend every waking second of your life pushing the boundaries of what's possible. It's about taking the ordinary and doing the extraordinary.